What's up guys, Tech Flash here and it's finally official, Huawei has officially mentioned the Kirin 990 for the first time. So it is official that the flagship chipset for their latest Mate series and their upcoming foldable device Mate X is going to be Kirin 990. Now you might be wondering that we have already seen uh, their foldable device Mate X with Kirin 980 and you are right but uh, the actual production unit that consumers are going to see is going to be powered by Kirin 990 and it has been confirmed by a Huawei official. Also, we already know that this time around Kirin 990 is going to be a beast of a chipset when it comes to AI task because uh, Kirin 990 was mentioned actually with their Ascend 910 AI processor which is the processor used in Kirin 990 to perform all the AI tasks. Now the teaser released by Huawei says Rethink Evolution and 5G which means that this time around the Kirin 990 is going to focus on two major areas. One is going to be the AI performance and the other one is going to be 5G. Now because of this slogan we are thinking that all the Mate series devices are going to come up with 5G enabled chipsets which means that Kirin 990 is going to support 5G out of the box. Other areas where Kirin 990 is going to shine is in the video side of things where this time around it is going to finally support 4K 60 frames per second which Huawei was uh, recently criticized quite a bit for because iPhones were supporting it for quite some time now Samsung's were supporting it even OnePlus devices were supporting it but Huawei's uh, latest offerings were not able to record video at 4k 60 frames per second now as far as the specifications for Kirin 990 are concerned it is going to use 7 nanometer manufacturing process but this time around it is going to be 7 nanometer EV process which is basically more energy efficient and it is going to pack much more uh, transistor in the same amount of space. So this time around you are going to see the same manufacturing process almost but the actual performance of the chipset is going to increase. Also if we talk about the actual release date for Kirin 990 then it is going to be in the September 19th because this is the date where we are expecting the Huawei Mate 30 to be revealed and alongside that Kirin 990 will become official and now everything is clear why Huawei was not launching their Mate X because they were waiting for Kirin 990 to be out in public so that when Mate X comes out it is going to be powering the same chipset as their flagship device so anyone who's going to buy Mate X is not going to feel that they are not buying a flagship device because it is going to have the same exact exact flagship chipset as the Mate 30 Pro. Now personally I'm really excited about the whole situation and I want to see what Huawei has in their pocket for us this time around. I want to know what are your thoughts regarding Huawei and what do you think is the future for Huawei. Also if you're new to the channel I would appreciate if you would subscribe so when I will upload a new video it will be in your notification box as soon as I hit publish. Well that was pretty much it for this video I hope you like it I will catch you in the next one till then goodbye.